guns to ruin your fucking life. Fill your dreams. In the future, can't wait to see if you Let's get it. Them boys ain't deserve that. Them boys ain't deserve that. They deserved worse. Okay. Okay. Listen, we go. Yo, listen. If y'all got speeches, we had the home going ceremony right now. If you want to chip, if you want to chip in, yeah, that's Mealy. Mealy, you good? Stop all that crying. These bozos had seven years to prove the shit that was talking like those bosses. And all in the end, we realized they were nothing but a bunch of dumbass niggas. Jay-Z pre-cum and the albino bum. Rui! Nigga, I woke up at 4.30 today. I was doing backflips, car wheels, shit I've never done. I ran five miles. I hit, I'm, I'm going to lift 40 pounds. Back to the ceremony. Hey, this next one is specially dedicated to Mealy Ma. You, you industry dick sucker. Okay? It's only right that the nigga who performs at your funeral ends up being nothing but the nigga who you're his pre come okay? Jay-Z, hairless nigga, man. Hairless nigga, man. Here we go. Oh, Rest in peace, Mealy Ma. Missing you. What his legacy is left behind? No kids, no money, no legacy at all, except for a couple phrases. That's crazy. Oh, we listen. We used to make a special names for the food. I know I hear Breakfast Club. Ain't that the bum that said the Breakfast Club was over? Yo, somebody walk over to Mealy Moore's casket and slap him because that nigga's tweaking. We might have to, we might have to bring him back to life. <laughs> Funeral? You never know. You fuck with me now. You might be next. Me and the chat, we ain't coming here to ride nobody dick. We came here, we built what we, we, we did. And if we gotta go and anybody, we don't give a fuck. Spam them scorpions up. But let's put this bum in the grip. Let's throw the dirt on this nigga as he deserves. Hey, one more time. You, you heard Pusha I see. Y'all niggas should know I go too far. <laughs> I don't want nobody calling me a bully. I don't want nobody be like, act doing too much. When they were dissing on me for three years, did nobody say y'all doing too much? When they was hating on me because they were sucking Joe's dick, but they ain't even established their own worth. Joe came on everyday struggle with me. We did something great. They was hating. Did anybody say they was doing too much? No. When I point out the obvious, when they're questioning my business decision, having people try to look at me weird, and I said, yo, these are workers. Why y'all listen to them when I'm trying to do bullshit? Did y'all say, yo, shut the fuck up, let that nigga cook? Nope, y'all judge me. Did when that nigga say I was on cocaine? Did y'all say, yo, chill? Y'all know the only thing I ever take. Me and my Hennessy, we inseparable. That's why it's been a little bit hard to lose a little bit of weight, but it's all good. I love my Hennessy. But another fucking drug, come on, stop playing with me. Imagine me trying to negotiate business deals and all of a sudden, a they're on, it's not their platform. I've been saying this, so I got at them niggas. You're on Joe's platform echoing things like he's a cokehead. My, my crib and dropped a, a letter in my mailbox. It said, happy boss day. Trying to make fun of what I was basically telling him. I said, hey, the things y'all judging me about, I'm trying to do things in a different light. Some of the same things that Joe has to also experience. They wrote on it, which was, you know, is a low-key threat. Anybody show up to your crib, that's a threat. Nigga, how you know where I, how you how you even know where my crib at? I'll tell you another thing. I took special precaution to make sure when I bought this house, I bought it cash. If anybody told you different, tell them prove the paperwork. I got the I got a deed upstairs. Not only that, show up to my crib. Dropped a letter in the mailbox, thinking you were going to intimidate me. Well, at that point, you got to do something, nigga. I don't think you planned this out, Rory. You thought that there was another level where, like, you were going to get me scared, and then I was going to just stop. No, I'm going to double down. 
And by the way, this is another reason. And by the way, I'm, I'm going to get into all this shit. The whole thing with Joe and I see, I know there's certain people who are on the fence or maybe even like them two bozos. Remember this. I wasn't a hundred percent. I was 80% sure. Well, 80, 70 percent sure that nigga showed to my crib. I'm going to tell you how I knew it was a hundred percent sure. A day after the letter was dropped off of my post box and I found it, we had it in the crib. Before, after that, he tweeted out a zip code that was accurate with where I'm at. Y'all could keep believing coincidences. But if, if somebody show up and drop something off in your post box and then is tweeting out your zip code, it's clear they're probably thinking you didn't get the first message. They're trying to send you a second. So I don't care what that nigga is trying to say publicly and whoever believes him. Right there, you fucked up and you cross an egregious line. Anybody in this chat, if a nigga who's talking slick about you show up to your crib, what are you going to do? I want everybody to, if you, even if you're a woman, I want you to, I want you to answer that question. Somebody show up to your crib. You don't know. I met that. I met that bozo one time at Joe's crib, and I saw him at Carl Cherry's party in L.A. because he was in there, gaw gawking, double handing, dick sucking, and I went in there like, "Yo, Carl, my guy. I'm gonna just come up in here and just. I don't like industry event. He asked me for a long time to come, and I seen that bozo in the, in the elevator. It was me and ten niggas. If it was really smoke, by the time he was really sneakness, and it was nothing near what he he did later, we could have packed him out, but. I don't, I don't present that energy. I'm not about that. Y'all know what I'm about. Like, I'm not, I don't ever present energy like that. It was him and, like, some chick. It was me and 10 niggas because I was moving in L.A. Like, niggas all wanted to kill me. I, that's how I was going. The nigga was in the elevator with me. I ain't saying nothing to him. But I knew he was kind of sneak this. And I'm like, I could check him here, but I'm like, I ain't going to do it. I'm giving y'all the context for anybody who has 